All right, today I'm going to show you how to use the ruler tool in Google Earth. This is going to be a very important tool, probably the first tool you should be using when you are um, researching your property that you want to purchase or say building a homestead or whatever you're going to be doing with it. You are going to be given setbacks and requirements that will um, affect how you lay out and plan your property build out or whatever projects you have. The ruler tool is highly important even when select even before buying a piece of property and I'm going to show you just real quickly what I'm talking about. So back in the day I was looking for a piece of property in Virginia. Found some, it was 20 acres um, and this is a perfect piece of property to show you the power of the ruler tool um, and it also showed me that this property just wasn't going to work for me and ultimately it was it was a correct it was a correct um, assumption so the property was on Pond Road in Buckingham Virginia um, that I didn't have an address because it was just parcels so another power of Google Earth over other mapping systems is the fact that you can scroll around the entire globe and find what you're looking for. So this is where it takes me on Pond Road. Now this is not the property I was looking at. And I had a, a survey and an image of what the survey looked like and my piece of property was a very distinct shape and I was able to find it really quickly because it was right, I mean this is the shape. And the property was divided into two, the owner sold off half of it and the other half was still completely wooded, completely raw, and <clears throat> it was um, 20 something acres and my wife and I said oh 20 acres for 40 something thousand dollars it was a great buy or so we thought it was going to be a great buy um, it had some things on it that we were looking for some history stuff um, had water sources but that's a whole nother another topic real quickly can you tell that there's water on this property this is the property right here can you tell that there's water on here some of you can't, some of you can't, but there is water. There's actually two separate creeks on this property, and you may not be able to tell that just by looking at this, but that's a whole nother video. Oh, and by the way, can you find the old hardwood trees on this property? They're right here. That's them. But I can tell by looking at this what the older trees and stuff are, and believe it or not, there's a hidden treasure under there that uh, really made me want to buy this piece of property. And uh, anyway, going forward, we are going to look at the ruler tool. So I was talking to the realtor and I asked you know, about how far the power lines would be run, uh, what the setbacks were from, for building, for septic, for the well, and things like that. And just a quick overview, here's your ruler tool. Okay, you can do paths. You can do lines, which are straight lines, polygons, which are obviously a shape. Paths allow you to draw multiple lines to get distances. But we're going to just do a line tool real quick. And I have it set for feet, but you can change this to miles, yards, whatever you want. Uh, feet is going to be what you're probably going to use because most setbacks are, you know, based in feet. Um, so I knew my property was from basically here to here to here, down to here, up over and back again and we didn't want to be so far off the road that we had to clear a road and pave it and you know with snow and ice and all that stuff be a, kind of a problem to get and build over here because there's a house here and there's a house here now just real quickly I want to see the distance from this house to here and it's 275 feet now that may be acceptable for some but we kind of wanted a little more seclusion so we were looking at building back here now, we knew from the power line, and let's, the, there's a power line like right over here. Um, and I'll, let me go ahead and just pin that real quick and kind of mark that as a power line for future reference. Let's call it right there. Okay. So we're going to call that the power pole. Now, I knew by talking to the realtor, 500 feet of line from this post would be free. Okay. So let's go 500 feet from here, which takes me to right in here 
Okay, so that's a 500 foot line. So that means anywhere within this radius would be free power line run. But see where that puts our house? Puts our house right in between these two houses. And that's not my house, by the way. Somebody else is building a house there. But you can see they're kind of within. And there's not much. I mean, some people say, oh, it's 200 feet. Well, that's from here to there. But if you go from here to there, it's only 100 feet. Which, by the way, is another setback. You have to be like 70 feet from the property border before you can build your house. So 70 feet from here, there's your setback. Okay. Now, this is actually a pretty narrow piece. So for the property line, I think was right in here. It's like 275 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Okay cross width. The trick is you got 275 feet your house has to be within 500 feet of the power pole for free power run but now you have to worry about okay I have to be so far from my boundary on both sides okay so you've got your 70 feet there now what well your septic has to be a certain distance from the house but also a certain distance from the border of your property and so does your well. Your well has to be a certain distance from the house, certain distance from the border, but it also has to be a certain distance from your septic tank. And it may have to be uphill. It just depends on your county or your township, or whatever the regulations or building code is for your particular area. So those are all different kinds of things to consider. So you can always use Google Earth ruler. And so let's say that this over here is power okay so let's clear this let's call this you know this the building zone for the septic okay so we can just type in you know septic and let's say we want to have a well let's say the well is going to be in that area okay and then obviously we have our house well you know you can do from your power pole to the house which is under 500 feet so we can save that. So we know that this one here is, you know, power. Uh, let's say we need another one. So we'll go back to the ruler. And let's say we need septic to be, you know, 75 feet from the house. Okay, well, that's good. good. It needs to be 70 feet or whatever from the border. Okay, well, that's almost spot on. Okay, so we can add a line there. We're not going to title it. And then we can add another line so to the house. Okay, so we can just save it. We're just doing this real quick. And the well has to be so many feet from that, but it also has to be so many feet, over 100 feet from your septic. Oh my God, look at that. So we can add these just like so. Obviously label them so you can tell in the future what they are. And you can basically lay out. We're not worried about this because this is over 100 feet away from that property line. And looking at how they're building this, it looks like this may be exactly what they're doing. They could be putting the well over here and the septic over here. They have a power over here. Actually, there's the power pole right there. I was not far off. Um, and <clears throat> on this particular property, there's actually a little cemetery up here in the bushes, which has its own setbacks you, you have to build from. But that was a little too cramped for space for us. And looking at the property from an overhead point of view, we knew that if we built all the way up here, there's no way we were going to be able to do any kind of farming or anything way back here. Um, it just wasn't economically feasible for us. The person that bought the property here cleared all this out. We can see that. We can even see that they've cleared out back here. And it looks like they've allowed some logging to, to go on back here which meant that there was going to be logging trucks and all kinds of stuff running through here. So it's always, and look at all this logging that's been done. So it's always a good thing to use Google Earth. Specifically, right off the bat, you got a basic <coughs> layout of um, lines here that are specific. So, you know, you can always come back and <coughs> get the information from those measurements and add those lines. Okay, so here's your measurements. You can, 
in feet, 75 feet, so you can always go back and look those up. This is a very good tool to use when planning your property. Um, I'll get into more details and stuff later on about elevations and all that, but this is a very, very basic tool that is a must-have if you're looking to buy and build on some property anywhere in the world. All right, well, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I tried making it as quick as possible. There's just a lot of information to cover, so I'm going to do a little series of these um, throughout. Um, and I'll eventually get you to my property and my build out and how I'm calculating all that. Because um, I'll, I'll be more familiar with that than stuff that I've done in the past. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, shoot me an email. Um, all right. Good luck.